from today there are information some of you have been planning after koinonia to go and just about something zip your mouth god wants to bless you for as long as samson kept the secret he remained a mystery but when he opened up the secret to a strange woman called delilah that was it he said cut your hair it was a covenant that god made it was the covenant of the spirit of might but he threw away that covenant on the laps of delilah and she got up and told the people, yeah, give me my money. And the people came and cut his hair. A great man, all of a sudden, because he could not close his mouth. Silence cannot be misunderstood. You must know when to speak. And he got up. And all of a sudden, there was no strength. Notice what the people did. The moment they found out that they had captured him, they removed his eyes, not his hand. Was it with his eyes he destroyed them because the eye is the light of the body. They looked for the source of illumination in his life and plucked it out. And he became a slave. Once a great man, now he was just pushing and grinding. And they stood before him to mock his God. Some of us have lost a lot of things in our lives because of the atmosphere that we have kept. You used to love God in true holiness and righteousness until one player came into your life that player must go out this night in the name of jesus christ you are going to send him an intentional constructive text appreciating his being in your life so far and letting the person know that you have had the word of god and you are determined to press into god if you are not if you are embarrassed to do this then you have demonstrated your willingness to remain at your current level when abraham started the journey he never told the people where he was going even isaac there were certain parts of the information that were kept as secret is that true it was revealed as they went after three days journey he knew that these guys will stop him because of compassion to say maybe something has touched august's head let's help him so that he will recover and he said i'm not ready for that stay behind we are ready to rise and it was only him and his sacrifice when he got there isaac started looking Abraham kept these things. Was he a fool? No. You think Isaac would climb that mountain if he knew he was a sacrifice? Please answer me. Do you? Uh, Isaac was 13 years. Do, do you think he would just climb the mountain just like that to go and die? For what? And while he was going up, Abraham was like, Daddy, why are you moody? He said, God is faithful. Let's go. And he continued. When he got there, he just grabbed the guy and put him when they set the altar and he says son i'm about to kill you i'm sorry if i told you i have to obey god when he lifted it god says stop you kept this thing as a father you saw your child and you didn't even reveal it he didn't reveal it to his wife bone of his bone flesh of his flesh he didn't reveal it Does that mean he does not love his wife? Was Abraham that even lied so that they won't carry his wife from him? He loved her. But there are certain things in life. There are some of us, there are certain information because of the emotional fragility of the women around our lives. Sisters, wife, husband, you keep silent first. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then it can come in bits and can come progressively. The way you can come to a man and say, somebody just died now. It may not be like that for a lady. If you learn that wisdom, you are great. Hallelujah. There are certain people, the best time to tell them in news is when it has happened. So they will just join in the celebration. But once you involve them in the process, they don't have the faith to believe with you. So they will discourage you. When Abraham was coming down, I can imagine Abraham going back and say, Honey, come sit down. I want to talk to you. <laughs> the last three days have been days of war. Just they talk to me. Say, You know, you would have lost your child today. Sarah will say, That's it. Isaac, you are going nowhere with your father for as long as I'm alive. <laughs> see that? But that would have been disobedience. There are some information that should not get to some people because they are too emotional to become part of your destiny helpers. They love your present too much. They will run away when you are going through the gates of the next level. They will beg you. Remember, they begged Jesus. 
they did a lot of things master this and that and that and that and Jesus left everybody ran away from Jesus only John the revelator he stood there say if you are, if you are killing me let me die on the cross there all the rest even Joseph his earthly father ran away I'm sure Joseph would have said you and the rabbi that you had this child with let him go and advocate for you I don't have any papers to sign I'm not guaranteeing any dead body even to find out what happened the Bible never records that Joseph was standing there hallelujah but Mary she stood there John stood there Peter and all the people who spoke nonsense they stood there they ran away that's why when Jesus resurrected in John 21 from verse 15 he said Simon Peter lovest thou me more than this you want me to give you access to the deep things of the spirit do you love me more than that and after that decision Peter made up his mind and never denied him till he died till he died there is a friend that can stick closer than a brother find that friend sister any man who loves you just because of beauty you are in for a rude shock i repeat you are in for a rude shock brother a lady who likes you because you are a bubble or because you have money or because of this you are in trouble all kinds of nonsense we do especially as young people god is speaking to you check your association and only give people who have earned the right they have proven that they are men and women of genuine integrity the gift of access you have 18 prayer partners according to the problem continue the gift of genuine people that you can have somebody in your life that you know this is a friend if you tell this sister you can tell her look let me tell you something this morning this and that happened and the sister can say i love you you know that and it's from the depths of your heart you are not afraid whenever you are there you sense the atmosphere of truth you sense the atmosphere a genuine atmosphere that when that she can look at me and come and say apostle this is the problem with me i don't have a womb that's not testimony i'm just giving i don't have a womb and i can look at her and say don't worry jesus is able to do it and not just that i'm just saying ha, jesus is able to heal you ha, this is trouble who is that guy that likes herself i will call him now and say please i need to see you because there's fire on the mountain that i mean it hallelujah hallelujah Hold the hands of your neighbor as you are seated and pray for him. And say, Lord, make my neighbor reliable. Pray for your neighbor. Integrity, truth. Let my neighbor carry an atmosphere that blesses me. I need you, you need me, we're all a part of God's body, stand with